We are happy to have with us Lamont, Laurent rather, Lamont, who is the former Prime Minister of Haiti. Uh, he is in Port-au-Prince. And Mr. Lamont, thank you very much for being with us. What is the latest right now on the ground? So the latest right now is that in terms of casualties, um, you know, one of the most important number that hasn't been really focused on is the number of homes uh, damaged or destroyed. And that number stands at 77,000, which is over 80 percent of the uh, inhabitants of the southern peninsula of Haiti. So this is a, you know, this is a catastrophe of major proportion. This is something that has to be, is going to have to be dealt with not only in an emergency uh, situation, but for the, you know, for the coming years, because we'll need long-term assistance to get through this. Because two earthquakes in 11 years, it's very hard to deal with for a country as vulnerable as Haiti. Haiti is a massive island. People think of it as being a place that you can get around quickly. How difficult is it to reach the affected areas, and have we reached them all just yet? No, I think that, you know, there is, in, in, this, uh, in this particular instance, there is three departments that have been, you know, very severely hit, and that's where the hospitals are overwhelmed. And Haiti, before the earthquake, you know, basically was vulnerable with, you know, um, not, you, you know the hospitals, you know, they, they, they're very uh, uh, fragile, I should say. Um, and with the earthquake, they're completely destroyed. So you have three departments that are currently um, hit. You have Lenny, you have the, the South, uh, and then you have the Grandins. So those are the three departments in the Southern Peninsula that are hit. And to give you an, to give you an idea, um, I would say every single person has been hit in those in those departments. This has been a 7.2 earthquake. It's stronger than the one that hit Port-au-Prince 11 years ago, and it's you know its destruction path has been has been incredible. Um, so now there is fewer casualties because the the earthquake in Port-au-Prince Port-au-Prince is very densely populated uh, city, so that's why there was more casualties and also the time that it hit. There was more people inside homes uh, in, in, in 2010 than there was, you know, this time around. So I guess, you know, that, that was a good thing that it's fewer casualties. When I was in Haiti in, in 2010 after the earthquake, I was stunned by the hospital itself. Is there the medical infrastructure in Haiti right now to deal with the casualties that it has to deal with? Absolutely not especially in the departments where it hit. Because remember, in 2010, it hit in Port-au-Prince. So most of the reconstruction has been geared towards Port-au-Prince. That's the capital. And historically, that's who, you know, that's the city that gets most of, you know, the visits, the investors and everything. Uh, in the case of Lenip, it's, it's, you know, it's, it was a very, I would say, um, marginalized uh, department already before the earthquake. So there is not enough hospitals. There is a need for you know for help uh immediately for emergency relief but a smart uh response you know meaning emergency for the first month and thereafter you know getting together to rebuild to help rebuild uh the destroyed towns with whatever assistance uh, dollars that that are getting there mr prime minister is it time for a marshall plan for haiti because after all, after 2010, they talked about the infrastructure needing to be rebuilt, moving the capital away from Port-au-Prince out into the places where we might, for instance, see the U.S. Embassy there, which is massive. Is it time now to rip the Band-Aid off and have to do something on a global scale to make sure that what we have now seen in 2010 and 2011 with regard to these back-to-back -back earthquakes never happens again? That's the only way. I would say Marshall Plan of the 21st century is needed. Um, in Haiti and a Marshall Plan of the 21st century, meaning that you know there will be you know massive infrastructure and, and with whatever funds are coming in, because the, the issue here is the the effectiveness of the aid and the assistance has been very limited, and has been only focused on bringing emergency assistance, you know, water, shelter, and you know temporary shelter and and some uh, you know uh, blankets and things like that. So we we have to do more. Uh, on, you know, the world has to do more, I would say, for Haiti, because, you know, Haiti, unfortunately, is sitting on a fault line. So that is, I mean, that is, you know, we've taken several earthquakes already. So we need to build back the infrastructure that, that it's anti-seismic um, 
with a Marshall Plan, like you say, for of the 21st century. Laurent Lemote, he is the former Prime Minister of Haiti, joining us this morning from Port-au-Prince. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you very much. 